Scientists estimate there will soon be more plastic than fish floating in our oceans. Staff members at the Oregon Coast Aquarium often see the problems of pollution firsthand. Coin 6's Jennifer Dowling reports on their latest efforts to save some sea lions that appear to have fallen victim to string or fishing line on the coast. <laughs> At the Oregon Coast Aquarium, visitors can get up close and personal with California sea lions, Rosa and Catalina. Was stranded off the coast of California. Both were rescued. You can see that she has her left eye closed there. Good. And that's because she did have an eye injury and that's the reason why she was deemed non-releasable. If a sea lion is found injured, marine mammal curator Brittany Blades says the aquarium staff can step in to help. It's really exciting that we're able to uh, take in and help out the animals that aren't able to be released back into the wild. The team here also helps their wild counterparts if they get caught up in the growing problems of pollution in the ocean. They're very curious animals, so they can end up getting entangled into uh, different types of line, either from uh, balloon strings or from fishing line, uh, plastics. The crew at the aquarium has gotten reports and pictures of two sea lions who appear to have fallen victim to that type of pollution. One of the animals has a serious neck wound from something wound around its neck. What we've done and uh, worked with the Marine Mammal Stranding Network and ODFNW, uh, they've placed a, what looks like a big cage down on the docks in Yokona Bay on the bayfront. If they can catch it in the cage, Blade says they'll dart it with an anesthetic to knock it out to start treatment. Then we can um, go ahead and disentangle that twine or whatever it is that is wrapped around it and give it some antibiotics and meds to hopefully just have it heal back up and be back on its way. 